Okay, so October is set to bring a lot of changes. I told y'all that in September there was going to be a lot going on, a lot of blessings coming through, a lot of things going on as well. But October is also going to be another one of those months where there's going to be a lot of blessings and a lot of changes, especially with us having two eclipses this month. We're going to be having one on a October 14th, 15th, and then we're going to be having another one on October 28th. They're going to be in the signs of Libra, a solar eclipse in Libra, and then we're going to be having a, well, the solar eclipse in Libra is going to be starting a brand new chapter in your life, wherever you have Libra placed in your in your chart, in your NATO chart, and it's going to deal with you versus a particular relationship to something, someone, someplace, whatever, and it's going to be a whole new journey that you're going to be going on for the next two years. A lot of you guys are going to be entering into partnerships. Um, a lot of people are going to be breaking out of partnerships. That is why we're seeing a lot of divorces and whatnot happen. But as far as the eclipse on the 28th, it is going to be the final culmination of a story that's been told for the last two years. Okay. So wherever you have Taurus in your chart, You've been going through some sort of story. If you have it in your first house, it could be a story of you versus the world. If you have it in your second house, it could be finances, a lot of you know income coming in or you paying off a lot of bills, debts, whatever. Um, if you had it in your third house, it could have been an issue with neighbors or maybe issues with communication or siblings. Fourth house, it could have been issues with home or maybe you moving a lot, maybe relocating, maybe childhood trauma coming up. Fifth house, it could have been anything dealing with entertainment or creativity or your kids. Sixth house. It could have been you changing jobs a lot, losing jobs, uh, getting hired, getting um, advances, getting um, promotions at work. Seventh house, it could have been love and relationships, you know, maybe problems with bosses. Maybe you started a relationship or you ended a relationship or you got divorced, or you got married. Eighth house, it could have been taxes. It could have been um, a lot of spiritual awakenings happening. It could have been a lot of dark nights of the souls. It could have been anything dealing with intimacy. Maybe you became close to the spirit. Ninth house, it could be anything dealing with you traveling, okay, or maybe higher learning, education. Maybe you uh, started or ended some sort of course of education. Tenth house, could have been a lot of changes with your career, maybe public image. Maybe you became a parent. Just your status in the world changed. Eleventh house, it could have been anything dealing with your um, friendships or networking or social groups or hopes and wishes and dreams. And twelfth house, could have just simply been endings or um, dealing with your little dreams, maybe unconsciousness, maybe uh, physical waking trauma, hidden fears, different things like that. Regardless, none, regardless of everything, there's going to be a lot happening in October because anytime there are eclipses, things get hectic and things move very, very quickly at the speed of light because the North Node is all about expansion. And so when we have these eclipses, it is the universe opening up a specific portal, a specific gateway, a specific door f that literally sends us flying through into a completely different direction that is meant for our soul and meant for our destiny. And things are completely chaotic right now, especially those of you guys that are in divine partnerships, twin flame partnerships, or just have some sort of divine mission. Things are up in the air right now, and it is such a pivotal time. And because there is so much spiritual warfare and so much just chaotic this going on both in the physical and the spiritual world going on. I'm going to do a special reading for you guys. Okay. So we're going to get into that after the jump. I feel like I need you tried to fight, but you can't me. My brain is racing for my heart is racing for What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, uh, better known as Aubrey, when I'm doing these spiritual readings. And yeah, I pretty much said everything in the intro. I pretty much said everything in the intro. Um, yeah, a lot of spiritual warfare going on. And so I just wanted to add some sort of advice. So just kind of do like a little quickie one-two reading. This is going to be for all Zodiac signs. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest. As always, I am offering personal readings on my personal website, thealigningsouls.com, which you guys can go to and book you a personal reading. As you can see on screen, um, there is a promotion that I'm doing. Okay. I've been doing it like the last two weeks and I keep extending it because I'm not posting as often as I should. And so a lot of people are missing out on a promo. So baby, take advantage of the, the promotion while I'm offering it. It's 50% off all personal readings up until the end of the weekend. I am not going to be running promotions like that, okay? Especially in 2024. The price is the price. 
is up and it's stuck. Okay, so take advantage of the 50% off. Let's get into this reading, girl. Like I said, this is going to be for all 12 Zodiac signs, okay? So it's not really about a specific placement. This is about all 12 different Zodiac signs. However, while I have y'all here, I'm probably going to do an eclipse reading. Um, like I said, the eclipse is going to be um, in Libra, and then it's going to be another one in Taurus. So the signs this month that's really going to be affected are, well, at least with the first eclipse, it's going to be Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, and Aries. And a lot of relationship things coming up. Again, a lot of you're gonna, you guys are gonna hear about a lot of people breaking up, divorcing, and then a lot of people getting into relationships. Um, also, so some home and career issues coming up as well, and new beginnings in those areas. And then with the next eclipse, it's gonna be Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. So, yeah, if you're any of those eight signs, or more specifically, if you have those eight signs, any of those eight signs is your rising sign. This message is definitely going to be for you, okay? Like, let's get into it, child. Let's get into it. All right, spirit. So, I don't even know what we're going with, but we'll go with the general message. All right. So, we have loyal hearts because speaking of relationships, we have loyal hearts. And what instantly, wait, okay, because I was about to read from the book, but what instantly comes up in my mind is whatever is is being destroyed, let it be destroyed. And I was going to sit and sugarcoat it and be like, oh, if something's being taken away, it's not necessarily destroyed. And like try to make it sound all nice. No, fuck that. Because it doesn't matter. Whatever's leaving is leaving and it's not coming back. You know how many, many people we meet a day? Like you could go to Starbucks and say hi to somebody or better yet, think about it like this. There's people that you meet and that you talk to every day. And the scary part is sometimes you never know when it's the last time you're ever going to talk to that person again. Right? Think about that. Really sit and think about that. We meet and talk to people every day, even if it's people that we've known for a long time or people that we just met. It might be the last time that you're ever speaking to them. And so there's not necessarily any sort of attachment. All you can do is kind of live in the moment. And that's what I feel like you guys need to do right now is live in the moment. And a lot of moment to happen. Whatever is going away, allow it to go away. I know it's very chaotic. I know that there's a lot of warfare. I know a lot of y'all are fighting. I understand all of that. But whatever is trying to come in is for the better. So while it may be a lot of chaos, while it may be a lot of upheaval, while it may be a lot of plot twists and turns, it's all for the better. It's all for the better. And actually, I feel like this is more of a protection message. Are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it's time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new. Think new. And open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. Yep, exactly like I said. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. Okay, so, and I'm just going to allow Spirit to tell the story. Um, Yeah, let's go with five cards. Uh, Spirit, you want me to keep that one? Okay. Okay, so we're going to allow Spirit to tell the story. What's going on? What, what messages do you have? What messages do you have? I know these cards better stop falling. That I do know. Keeping it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, oop, five, six. Okay. <sighs> so the energies that I have, and really, do I really even need to clarify? Because they're all straightforward to the point. The energies that I have, we have movement, choices, decisions. We have heartache and loss. We have stand your ground. We have intuition. We have triumph. And we have fulfillment of wishes. And 
literally, like I said, like, do I even need to clarify? Because right now, like I said, there are things that are coming up. Give me movement choices and decisions. There are things that are coming up or events or things that are happening. And I feel like it's to alter your thinking and get you in a space where you consider something different. Like it's, it's feeling very brand new beginning. Yeah. <laughs> we got Queen of Swords. We got Eight of Cups. And we have the Hermit. <sighs> Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Hermit. You're in a space where... If you're paying attention, you notice the flags, you notice the signs. Even before I did this video, you probably already had a gut feeling like something's happening. I don't know what, but something's happening. Something's happening. And it might be time to walk away or spend more time, you know, focused on me or focused within. And, you know, some of you might even find you yourself spending a lot of time by yourself or a lot of time going within, right? Because this is about you needing to get clear communication and get some sort of insight on what it is that you should do. Or what is it that's going to happen should you... <sighs> Let me put it to you this way. You feel that these changes are coming. You notice it. It's like nothing that you can do. Nothing that you can do. No matter how chaotic it is, no matter how many ripple effects there are, no matter how much everything, like shit is on the ceiling, shit is on the fan, that it is. It's like, okay, I, I see that this is here, but what now? Right? How do I go about moving? How do I go about weather in a storm weather in a storm some of you might be feeling like okay is it me is it something that i did is it like you know like old karma coming back up like what like what's really going on but it's just it's just getting clear about what is the path to take now that this has happened right And yeah, I'm picking up on a lot of isolation. I'm picking up on a lot of isolation, picking up on a lot of um, just like aloneness, maybe feeling like you have no one that you can speak to or maybe no one will understand or maybe you don't want to trauma dump or, you know, put your problems on other people or something like that. So keep in mind of that. But we also do have this heartache and loss that's coming up. It's feeling real second chancy to me. I'm not even gonna hold you. It's starting to feel real second chancy to me. It's starting to feel like, like you know how you you put your all and your effort into something, and then it's just like boom, out of nowhere, it's ripped out. And I feel like that's what it is. I feel like there may have been so many false starts to where you felt like, okay, well, maybe now it's finally time to do this. Maybe it's finally time to move forward with that. You know, maybe I'm finally going to be able to achieve this or achieve that or do this or do that or be with this person or, you know, and it just didn't happen. And so now it's like a, it's like this feeling of, I don't know how much energy I have, right? I don't, I don't know necessarily... It's like a like attachment issues that's coming up. Like I see myself getting burnt out because how many times does this have to keep happening? Because every time that I think I see the vision, that I think I see a way out, that I think I see a way that I can overcome, it's just it just leads to a point of 
being burnt out. It, re- it leads to a point of restlessness. It's like we hear all of these encouraging words all the time, like don't give up, don't give up, be persistent, be persistent, be persistent. But what happens when you think you're getting to the, you know, the last leg of the race and you're about to cross the finish line and then boom, there's another two minutes added to the race. It's almost like that. It's almost like that. But I feel like in this case, it's more of like rather than getting to the finish line and another two minutes is added, I feel like you get to the finish line and then boom, you wake up and realize it was all a dream. Or you get to the finish line and then boom, like a thunderstorm or earthquake or something like life shattering happens to where it's just like, am I going to be able to continue the race? Is the race like now not mad at like, like I was so close and then now this happened. Right. And so I feel like that's why you're in a place where it's like you try to stand around, you try to stay strong, you try to persist, you try to persist. I also feel like your intuition is coming up. Your intuition is coming up and spirit is trying to guide you to keep pursuing through. Give me, um, give me the energy. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. There's that queen of swords again. There is that queen of swords again. There is that queen of swords again, because I feel like intuition is telling you like, yo, It's almost like you have to look at your life objectively, right? It's almost like you have to look at your life objectively and almost look at it like from a standpoint of like, okay, well, what I want is so grand that this is just what I've had to go through or this is just what comes with what it is that I want because all it takes is a mustard seed of of faith. Like all it takes is a mustard seed of faith but it can create something so big, so grand. And I feel like what it is that you want, what it is that you're trying to achieve is something that is so out of this world or something so beautiful, or you may not even know that it's all of, all of that big of a deal. Right. But spirit is encouraging you to get in a space where you kind of like understand unbiasedly, like it's almost like understanding from behind the scenes. Right. It's almost like if the universe was to take you outside of yourself and then show you the whole story format, like, okay, you had to go through X, Y, and Z to get to that, 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 because this is how this connects to that and that connects to this and that this connects to the overall picture. And so it's about you getting clearer with that, clearer with your understanding of what it takes to get to your Ten of Cups, to get to your Ten of Pentacles, to get to that abundance that it is that you're searching for. Because ultimately, it's about you getting to a place where you feel fulfilled and you have your wishes and your desires met. Let me go ahead and get a uh, thank you to prosperity message. Let me get a prosperity message. I don't want to take two. Do I need to? Do I got to take both? Okay. Uh, I'm going to take both. I'm going to take both. Okay. All right. So let me give you a prosperity message. All right, so if you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo, (laughs) here we go. If you're in a scenario of something that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it's because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time. (laughs) Shout out to spirit. Shout out to the universe, y'all. Shout out to the universe. Because they're going to get y'all together every time and let me know that I was right. It's because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have in your attraction to the opportunities and people who have entered your life to be a part of your journey to prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them when you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past? It's It's a good time to get a coach or mentor. Thank you, Spirit. 
hold on, because I feel like they want me to repeat that. What are the familiar signs and your responses to them when you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past? Let me repeat that one more time, because I feel like that is the overall message. Because the way that they just flickered the lights. What are the familiar signs? No, actually, I'm going to repeat all of it. Who helps you navigate? Who sub sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them when you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past? Now, keep in mind, because I talked a lot about this in the Twin Flame reading and a little bit about this at, in the beginning of this. I did say over the next two years, it's going to be all about yourself versus relationships. That's what Aries versus Libra energy is. And again, we do have the North Node there and we do have an eclipse in Libra happening. So whatever this is that's going on, it can come to a culmination next week or you know sometimes you might already be feeling this energy between now and next week or it starts between now and next week and it carries on through the next six months okay if not like the next two months because we have that solar eclipse in libra and it's going to be focused on literally these these questions that i just asked let me bring it up one more time who helps you navigate who sabotages you who supports you what are the familiar signs in your responses to them when you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past? It's a good time to get a coach or a mentor who can help you see what you can't on your own. Repeat what works, not what doesn't, and then you will free yourself from the old cycles and seize yourself going round and round. Okay? Now, that was your first message. Your last divine message is all about higher power. Now is the time to examine what you are giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind. If you're obsessing about being right, about old resentments or felt expectations, about money or about any other people, places or things, these will be the source from which you create. Told you, solar eclipse and Libra. But you want spirit to be your source. Take heart for your higher power will never desert you and is always awaiting for you to remember the sacred partnership you share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust that they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. I mean, listen, I don't know if if the, the message is clear, but from the start, it's been all about attachment issues, codependency, abandonment issues. It's just like, let whatever's going to go away, go away. It's time for shit to change. It is. Because what you think might be healing you is hurting you, making you more sick. What you think who you think might love you might actually hate you, might be fucking your man, okay? What you think is good for you might be bad for you, might be toxic for you. Be unafraid, be daring, take risk, and allow these changes to come in. And, <laughs> and literally at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> overall energy, we have flexible. Be flexible. Be flexible. Be flexible. Because the universe is about to make some grand changes. And the more that you try to fight against the flow of the river and the flow of the current or where the current is trying to take you, you're just going to drown. I don't know how much you guys know about the ocean or rivers and lakes and all of that. But, like, baby, if you see that the river is going one way and you're trying to fight and, and do all of that going upstream, all you're going to do is tire yourself out and end up dying and drowning. Just go along with the current of life, with the flow of life right now, and you will fare better. You won't have anything to worry about. Sure, there's going to be spiritual warfare. Sure, there's going to be chaos. But you'll be able to weather the storm much better because you'll be prepared. More so than those that keep trying to hold on. So... Take this message how I resonated. I love each and every one of y'all. Okay, definitely make sure that you go to my website, thealigningsouls.com, to book you a personal reading. Again, they are 50% off all weekend. Okay, take advantage of that because I am not, I repeat, I am not going to keep you on promo specials. I'm not. We did that two years ago. Okay, so take advantage while they are available. I love each and every one of y'all. I'm just here to, you know, align you to your highest soul, your highest guy, your highest energy, all of that. And... I will see y'all in the next one. Definitely check out the Twin Flame reading if it applies. And look out for the Zodiac Love readers. Okay? I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Tell me what you want to be. Tell me what you want to see.